okay now we'll see the next topic which is the customer account statement so over here remember when we have a customer and the invoices have been posted to the customer we need to send a statement every month to the customer so that the customer knows what are the outstanding invoice and what are the invoice have been paid so in order to do that we need to come here this report here and then execute it you see all the documents for this customer listed and you see this environment correspondence you go here to request all this uh, reports that you are seeing here is pre pre built by sap and delivered together with the system okay that's why you have you can see a prefix of sap here so all you have to do is just select some documents and choose the report you want to print okay i'm going to do that now i'm going to select these documents and go to environment correspondence request and for example choose the customer statement see i want to print the customer statement choose this we'll ask for the last statement date and the current statement date last statement is first of april for example and you want to send a current statement first of may 2009 and just press continue after you see this message customer statement was requested you go here environment correspondence display you see its local date does not correspond to the system date because my laptop date is 1st of may and the sap servers date is 38th april so just ignore this message now it says the time of the laptop and the server time is also the not the same just ignore then you will come to a pop up window where you have to specify the printer that you want to print this report to just click here you see all the printer setup for the sap system this is set up by basis guys just discuss with the basis guy to choose the correct uh, printer in this case i choose this press continue and you can see the customer statement here this format is pre built by sap so if you want to change it then here to get your buffer to modify this report okay you can see all this documents listed here this is page 1 or page 3 to go to the next page just press page down page down again see you are navigating the page through page up to go up to the first page come back now you can also print other reports which is pre-built by sap such as credit memo customer credit memo and so forth so let me show you where to where to get the program which is responsible to print this report format In, for that you need to go to the customizing see this thing here is under financial accounting new account receivable accounts payable outgoing invoices credit memo make and check settings for correspondence and define correspondence type you come here you can see all the correspondence type which has been created by sap so whatever number that you are seeing here will correspond to the code report codes that you are seeing here sap 13 sap 11 sap 10 see all of it are here sap 13 sap 11 sap 10 and all that let us check what is inside here there are some settings you need to check if you set this then the system will ask for the uh, account number customer account number for which ID is a type of correspondent chosen express account number as a parameter ok this is the customer account number ok and you see this the date specification remember when you choose this you will ask for two dates right last statement current statement it is coming from here you see this they have specified that two dates are required so therefore you can see two date fields here 
and you can if you edit the text here and this will be changed as well last statement all right so where can I find the program which is responsible to print the report format it is over here this is where you assign programs to correspondence type here you define the correspondence type you see this let us check what is the program for account statement customer statement this is the program name so you just copy this and give it to your abopper and ask him to change the report format according to the report format which is required by the customer all right just remember this decode ob78 okay that's about it